One should not be proud, whether it is a man or animal or a bird. It is a very bad nature. It will ruin the person or animal's life, whoever has it. Let us now see how it happens. Are you all ready to listen to the story? Shall we start? Once upon a time, there was a beautiful village. There was a thick, dense forest a little far away from the village. All the animals, big and small, lived there. If there is a forest, there will definitely be a king. Lion is the king of the forest and everyone called him Lion King, Lion King. Lion King had a very bad temper. Whether he is hungry or not, whichever animal comes in front of him, he will pounce on them and kill them. So all the animals of the forest were scared of coming in front of him. The rest of the animals in the forest didn't like this dictatorship of the lion. So all the animals discussed and decided on a solution. And they went to the Lion King and conveyed it to him with hesitancy. King? Oh King! Who is it? Who is shouting in front of my den? Please excuse us great King. We all have come here to discuss something very important with you. You should listen without getting angry. What? You are all my slaves. I am your King. Should I listen to what you people say? All of you run for your lives before I come out and kill you. That's why I told you in the beginning itself. It's a very bad decision. It'll end up in danger. None of you listen to me. Okay, okay, don't cry. Wipe off your tears. Nothing will happen as what you think. Oh King, what you say is true. We don't deny. But we are of the opinion that being old you need not go round the forest in search of your prey. Your anger that you didn't get your food and hunger put together is getting you a bad name when you are supposed to get a good name. So... So? So, if you stay in your den itself, each and every animal will send one animal to you from their kind as food for you. You need not wander up and down the forest. What is your opinion, dear king? Well, it is a good suggestion. I believe your words. If you try to cheat me by not keeping up your words, I'll come out and kill you all. Now go, all of you, leave this place. Every day, one animal was sent to the lion's den. The bones of the eaten up animals piled up like a mountain in front of the lion's den. One day, it was the turn for the rabbit to go into the den. The mother rabbit was all in tears to send the child rabbit. What to do? To keep up the commitment to the lion, it had to send the child rabbit. The rabbit, not knowing the fact that the lion was going to eat it up, danced joyfully all the way up to the den. The lion was roaring in anger as well as hunger. Let the rabbit come and fry him in the burning oil pan. King? Oh King, please forgive me. Hey, you silly rabbit. Why so late? You thought you can cheat me, huh? Didn't your mother tell you that I can't stand hunger? See what I'm going to do to you now. Oh King, please wait for a minute. Even now, I'm here to be eaten up by you. You should know the reason for my delay. Then you can eat me, however you want. Tell me fast. Don't waste time. I saw a Lion King like you on the way to your den. He said he is your enemy and he spoke ill of you and your courage. I escaped tactfully from him and came here. Now you do whatever you want. I will happily die. What? An enemy for me? 
that too in this forest who is it where is he show me okay you know you're hungry first you eat me up and then you can search him now i'm not hungry i only have the drive to kill him i have to kill him you are the king of this forest suppose something happens to your life in the encounter with him o king please leave him even if i die it is okay i should not have any enemy i will not allow anyone to exist opposing me come with me show me where he is o king he was hiding inside this well maybe he hid himself on seeing you hey who is it come out the king peeps into the well it sees its own reflection on the well on the water and it jumps inside and dies all the animals rejoiced on seeing the bravery of the rabbit moral one should not be proud the very thought will destroy us